If you had the ability to add a feature to the human body, what would it be? Reinforced knees. So true, our joint cartilage clearly needs better blood supply so it can regenerate. The other side of that is that cartilage would continually grow if it could regenerate, so there'd be a minimum amount of high impact exercise you'd need to do to keep your knees healthy, instead of a maximum. Sounds great for young people, but the elderly would literally all need knee replacements for the opposite reason they get them no. Edit, so it's very possible I'm wrong about this. All I know is that cartilage is not vascularized and I remembered reading something somewhere that the reason it isn't vascularized is so that it doesn't continuously grow and cause issues in your ribs and ears and knees and such. But I don't remember where I read this and maybe spreading folklore. Teeth regeneration. Why stop to teeth only? Yeah. Foreskin when? I'd hate that lamau. It'd be like getting a haircut every now and then but with foreskin. Children can grow back their amputated fingertips. As long as there's some nail bed left it'll regenerate like a lizard's tail, fingerprint not included. A diagnostic interface that tells you what's wrong with you. Like the OBD port on a car? As a paramedic, that would make my job much easier. On body diagnostics. Let me plug into you. Error code, C15, cardiac arrest. The ability to clean out your sinuses or clear your stuffed up nose at will. Like a spit valve on a trumpet. Yes, please. I'm dealing with a bad sinus infection at the moment, and that would just be. Ah. Tilt your head back, inhale through your nose as hard as you can, then spit out the resulting snot running down the back of your throat. Disgusting, but it works. Fast charge. So we'll only ever need one to two hours of sleep already exists. Short sleeper syndrome, SSS, is a sleep condition characterized by sleeping for fewer than six hours each night. Most adults need seven or more hours of sleep each night to feel rested in the morning. Those with SSS, however, can function normally throughout the day despite less sleep. A guy like this was a visiting professor at one of the nonprofits I worked for. He only needs two to three hours sleep most nights. Because he grew up in an isolated rural area with no TV reception, he didn't grow up entertaining himself all the time. Instead, he used that time to study random subjects. He was considered an expert in multiple fields and had taught himself several languages. I was a bit jealous, mostly of his self-discipline. Even if I needed zero sleep, I'd probably spend that extra time on Reddit or playing Plants vs. Zombies. Built-in translator from slash to any language could just get a babelfish. Edit, yo I didn't think I'd get such so much upvotes with this comment. Thank you all and thanks for my first ever award glad it was from making a Douglas Adams reference. There it is. Any decently sized reddit thread will have a Douglas Adams reference. Quote possibly the oddest creature in the galaxy. An organ to filter salt water into drinkable water. You kinda have that already, kidneys. Cats for example can drink even ocean water without issues, though in general they are way more prone to kidney stones as a result. Fair enough, I'd like even better kidneys than smile. Three kidneys each. Just have a quadney on each side of the body. The ability to zoom in with your eyes. Everyone would just be running around town yelling, enhance. Enhance 224 117. When I hear enhance I think of super troopers. Sean from Psyche has that superpower. Regenerating teeth. If they're pointy like sharks, that would be even calling. Damn. My grandpa would be so happy. There is a new sheriff in town and he is eating chicken today. Make the man a chicken shake for God's sake. Regeneration, ability to regenerate any lost organs or body parts. Especially teeth. My partner is actually getting her PhD in something that's related to this and it sounds like it's not super far away, decades. She's studying slash mapping the pathways of the developing stage of teeth so that she can replicate them in the lab. Cool stuff. Tumors are now forever. With these regeneration abilities doctors could be way more aggressive with removing the tumors. You don't need that lung with cancer, it'll grow back. The ability to scan my whole body in order to know what is making me ill. Would be nice to have something like that on my car and PC as well. 
OBD2 port and Windows troubleshooting. Windows troubleshooting. Has that ever worked for anyone? It works decently for basic stuff, usually in the form of turning off a component and turning it back on again. For the stuff it doesn't fix, it at least explains what's wrong so you know where to start looking on your own next. A user interface that shows all information you want about your body, like hormone level or if you have an internal injury. Yeah, a HUD would be really useful for health and life in general. Edit, the way I see it is you could only see information your body can perceive, translated into units you know and visible in a toggleable HUD in your field of view. This means, for example, that you cannot have weather forecasts or such things. You'll need to ask Elon for that. Jarvis, please run a quick diagnosis. You're 69% horny. Torn between wings, gills, and the ability to climb walls like bugs. Edit, or spit venom like a dinosaur. Personally, I'd go for the wicked wings. Scared of heights but wings would still be tempting. Imagine getting a wing cramp or muscle spasm mid-flight. Maybe that's why birds don't flap their wings all the time. I really hope the devs finally patch the glitch where you open the fridge and don't remember why you are there or what you're looking for. Portal Amnesia I have heard it's possible to end a panic attack with this. LOL I imagine once you remember it's like this eureka moment where you remember why you went to the fridge and your panic attack just picks up right where it left off. I'll add something easy, the ability to generate vitamin C, like 99% of all animals. A that one's easy to get. Most of humanity is vitamin D deficient. We can make it, but most don't make enough. Also making it requires exposure to ionizing radiation, with all the risks that entails. Sunlight yeah. Ultraviolet light, specifically. The rest of the components of sunlight don't matter, and aren't ionizing. Ability to repair cartilage, ligaments, tendons, spinal discs etc. The wear and tear on these things cause the majority of pain and suffering in humans as well as disability. Unbreaking 3. If you'd add Thorns 3 there would be way less wars and fights. High fives are now seen as a huge threat. Spanking roles are reversed. Having intercourse too, or hugs, or French tongue, or anything fun really. On slash off switches for most functions. Don't forget to turn your digestive tract back on again after your flight. Man. Your breath stinks. Oh fuck, I forgot to turn my stomach on again. The fish from Friday must be going bad. Activate anal turbo jet disposal. Absolutely disgusting, I did not need to get this mental image. An ability that can make me fell asleep whenever I want. I think I have this ability already. I definitely do. Give me 5 minutes and a place to lay down. Night night. Are you a dad over the age of 40? Note. In my 30s but I've been this way as long as I can remember. Debug console. Me.aging equals false. Me.hairstyle equals Elvis. Me.vision.quality equals 2020. Me.aging equals true hashtag try dating when you're 35 but look 19. If, me.age equals 60, me.age equals 18. An extra set of arms. So badly do I want extra arms. Way the fuck down here but me fucking too bro. I would be a crafting god. Being able to hold something down perfectly with two hands, then use my second set to do manipulation work. Don't give a shit that it would look weird but probably hard to find shirts. I wouldn't even care about the downsides. I am constantly juggling to get everything done as it is. You could be one hell of a juggler too. You'd be constantly greeted by random strangers saying hello there. Voluntary ovulation. Don't feel like incubating an unfertilized egg in your uterus and then ejecting it in a bloody bath this month? Then just fucking don't release the goddamn egg from your ovary in the first place. Edit, thanks for the awards, folks. We'll take this opportunity to say down with the assholes who want to take away the right of human beings to control their reproductive systems. As MLK said, the arc of the moral universe is long, but it bends towards justice and we will make damn sure it keeps bending. Body, prepares the space for the baby. Does not get the baby. Body, throws a tantrum and starts to destroy everything repeat. Till the female reproduction system is an abusive significant other.